Welcome back everybody. Today I'm taking you through the Terminid Faction and the Laz 98 Laser Cannon. The Laz 98 Laser Cannon, or the Laz Cannon as I'm going to be calling it from now on, is a shoulder fire stratagem. You're probably familiar with it. It's fantastic at shooting through light and medium armored enemies. And so today I'm going to take you through everything from the little scavengers all the way up to the Bile Titan and the Terminid Faction just to see how this bad boy stacks up. And let me tell you what, it is one of my must takes and my favorite stratagems overall. So without further ado, First off, we have the Scavengers, Bile Spitters, and Pouncers. These are basically the little fodder, little guys that like to call in the bug breaches. It's good at taking out a small wave of them, but you will overheat, and you're going to have to deal with that by probably pulling out secondaries. So is it bad against them? No. Is it my first pick? Also no, because you have to shoot around a lot, track around a lot of small guys, and you end up wasting a lot of ammo since you have to constantly have that beam out, and you're going to overcharge really fast. It's just not overall the best at taking on small enemies. Next we have the Warriors and the Bio Warriors. These are some of my favorite to take on, not only because they have light armor that the Laz Cannon just drills straight through, but they also are super easy to cut off their limbs and their heads are very exposed, making it very easy to shoot off their heads with the Laz Cannon and then just worry about taking on some other guys. You can shoot off their heads so quickly, it's almost like you're not even having to fight them. You can kill like six guys with one shot easily. The Hunters are something that the Laz Cannon really struggles with. It is actually really good at taking them out quickly if you can hit them, and it's not the Laz Cannon's fault, it's really just these dudes are so freaking mobile. When you aim at these guys, they actually do dodge, but before you even shoot at them, it turns out. So, tracking these guys can be very hard to do, especially if you're using the Laz Cannon, you're overheating while you're spending all this time trying to track one guy down. It's very easy to get overran by a swarm of these. One or two of these guys, not bad, but in a pinch or if one surprises you, you're going to have trouble, especially because it cannot just stagger enemies away like you'd really want it to. And so it's just overall really easy for the hunters to overwhelm you, and it's not the best. The Stalkers are a very similar story to the Hunters. The Laz Cannon is just not great at taking them on. The main reason for this is because the Laz Cannon doesn't have a lot of knockback and it just doesn't have enough damage to kill these guys before they hit you. If you see them coming from a long ways away, the Laz Cannon is great, but if you are getting surprised by Stalkers like you probably are, you're just not going to be able to take them out as quickly as you need to before they kill you. Up until this point, the Laz Cannon seemed somewhat underwhelming, but now it's really where it starts to turn around for the Bile Spewer and the Bile Nurser. The Laz Cannon is actually really good at taking these guys out. First of all, if you just focus on the headshots on these guys, you can absolutely burn through them. Since we can penetrate medium armor, we go through the Bile Spewer just fine, and the Bile Sp Nurser is even less armored than the Bile Spewer. So you can actually almost instantly burn through a Bile Spewer if you're actually really accurate with it. But as you can see here, you can actually just aim for the abdomen as well. And since we don't take that major damage reduction as being a conventional weapon and we actually do full damage to those abdomen areas, we're able to burn through these enemies in just a matter of seconds without using any ammo. So this is really helpful because these guys like to come out in large herds and really overwhelm you, spew all over you, it's quite annoying. So you're able to really just pinpoint these guys, take them out quickly and efficiently before you need to deal with the rest of the horde. The main problem with the Bile Spewer and Nurser is that they take a lot of ammo and time to kill while the rest of another horde is growing and attacking you. So being able to take them out quickly with the Laz Cannon is actually really important and you can really take them out from far away very accurately as well. Especially if you're crouching, you need to remember to crouch while shooting the Laz Cannon. It gives you much better accuracy. What are the moments you've all been waiting for? How does the Bile Titan fare against the Laz Cannon. Well, it fares pretty well. Turns out it's actually incredibly unkillable by the Laz Cannon, unfortunately. However, it's not all doom and gloom for the Laz Cannon if you're running this bad boy in your mission, especially at higher difficulties. Being able to actually fight against these guys is extremely important. And it turns out it's very efficient at taking out the Bile Sack. If you take out the Bile Sack on the Bile Titan, it actually totally destroys its ability to barf on people, which is extremely useful, especially when you have two or three Bile Titans and you really need to just pace them out and what let your stratums recharge or just give you some breathing room the barf is his main attack that's really powerful and really just kills everybody his melee attacks aren't actually so threatening because he's kind of you know cumbersome and he's not so fast at hitting you so being able to just crouch up beam these bile sacks that are lower abdomen squishy parts but we do full damage to those we're able to take those out really quickly and efficiently and that gives our other stratagems time to recharge such as our expendable ats or orbital bombardments or orbital lasers what have you it's actually extremely useful 
useful at just giving you some breathing room against the Bile Titans. Now, it was theorized online that if you took out the fleshy bits on the Bile Titan that he would eventually bleed out. That is true on the Charger that he will bleed out. However, on the Bile Titan, I don't see that to be the case. And as you can see by this five times speed clip, of me waiting for the Bile Titan to die. It's just literally impossible to kill a Bile Titan with only the last cannon, unfortunately. I'd really like to see a way for the last cannon to be able to kill the Bile Titan, even if it took a very long time. Uh, I think that would be a great change to have for the last cannon. Uh, but yeah, enjoy this quick little montage of me waiting for the Bile Titan to actually bleed out, which he never does. The Charger is where things really get interesting for the Laz Cannons. The entire reason is actually extremely useful to take on your missions with you. So, if you do full damage to the squishy bits in the abdomen, you can take out a Charger abdomen very quickly, especially if he's not aggroed on you. You can have a lot of clean shots to just give him a good solid beam and take out his abdomen. However, there's another mechanic with the Charger that makes it even more insanely powerful. So, if you're shooting the back of the legs of the Charger, not his back legs, but the inside of his legs are actually medium armored, not the outward facing parts. You know, usually most of the charger is heavy armored, but if you're actually shooting the inside of the legs, you're actually doing full damage to the inside of his legs as if he was a medium armored target and you're able to absolutely destroy the charger. You can see right here, I'm shooting his back leg right there and I killed the charger from in front, even though he was running straight at me. That is an insanely powerful thing that you can do with the Laz Cannon, and it makes it able to just totally melt through chargers on a regular basis, which is really nice for the Laz Cannon. You know, it's not the best weapon. It's not incredible at killing any enemy in particular until you see one later in this video. But what is nice about the Laz Cannon is that it's just consistent at killing things. You know, it's not terrible. It's not great. It's mediocre. And that's something you need from an infinite ammo very long range, very accurate if you're crouched weapon, is that you can just get really consistent results when you need it. And it's very nice to have. It's something that allows you to just feel comfortable in any situation. You always have something to pull out and take on a heavily or medium armored enemy and not have to struggle with them and have them chase you around the map for half the mission while your strategies are on cooldown. Next up, we have the Hive Garden, and this is a prime example of a good enemy type to be taking out with the Laz Cannon. You know, you have three or four of these guys walking at you, maybe you throw some grenades at them, but they're still quite annoying. If you shoot at them or aim at them, they, they huddle up so you can't hit them. They're medium armored, so not a lot of things can penetrate them, but the Laz Cannon can. Shoot straight through all of their armor, straight through the head, straight through the arms, and it'll take them out just like they're a warrior. It makes them incredibly trivial and easy to kill. Absolutely no need to worry about these guys when you have the last cannon. The Brood Commander, on the other hand, is just as easy to take out and very satisfying as well. I'm not sure what the armor level is of the Brood Commander, but if you go for the headshots on the Brood Commander with the Laz Cannon, it makes them an enemy that takes, you know, five, six shots from the Punisher shotgun into this guy that just almost instantly dies. Here I'm going for a body shot, but if you go for a headshot, the head pops off in one to two seconds and you're absolutely free and clear. Finally, we have the Shriekers. Now, this is an enemy type that I was not expecting the Laz Cannon to be so good at, but they actually have a weak spot on the wing. And if you aim for this weak spot, I'll actually find that it's maybe the best weapon in the entire game for taking out Shriekers. I mean, these guys are annoying. They fly right at you. But as you can see there, if you're shooting at the Shriekers, and you don't actually go for the body shots. If you can hit that weak spot joint in their shoulder between the wing and their abdomen connection, you can cut these guys out of the sky. You could, I mean, depend, it's really only limited to how good you are with it. You could probably get up to six Shriekers and one charge shot from the last cannon. It's actually incredible how good it is. I didn't notice it was so good until I started making this video. I was like, wow, this is actually very good at taking out the Shriekers, which is nice because, you know, you can stand there and shoot your shotgun in the sky forever while the entire hordes chase you around. It's incredibly frustrating and these Shriekers are just terrible to deal with. And on top of that, you don't actually have to use your stratagems technically to take out their really annoying nests. Now, you do have to get really close to the nests, and I think using something like the recoilless rifle or the expendable rockets is really good for taking out these nests from far away, so you don't have to come and even deal with the shriekers in the first place. But if you do get up nice and close to the nests, you can actually just give them pretty much one full charge shot from the last cannon, and you'll be able to take out the, the shrieker nest no problem. 
So that about does it for the video guys. Hope you learned something. Hope you might try this bad boy out. It's actually really fun and satisfying to use in my missions. It's one of my must takes. I mean, I just love using this weapon. It's just, I mean, it's satisfying to use. So if you guys like the video, appreciate the content, like, comment, subscribe, super appreciate it. We're a young channel. I really want to see us grow. So I super appreciate you guys. See you in the next video.